held in your hand, crafted in two. Oh, your prayer. You gently call me into guiding me by. Oh, teach me, table.
you're giving your life tonight, just lift your hands Hallelujah. and just thank the Lord. Just say, yes, Lord, I'll give my life to you, Lord Jesus. I'm giving it over to the potter's hands. I'm giving it over to the potter's hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're saying more than anything. I love you, Jesus, more than anything. Does anybody love him tonight? Does anybody love him tonight? Say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus, more than anything, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. More than anything. More than anything. So 
just lead me where you will. So just lead me where you will. And, uh, and I'll follow your instead. Oh, as I place my trust and confidence in you. One more time, Lord, I place my trust. So we were singing, Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. Lord, I want you to protect me as I travel along life's way.
Everybody got sunshine in their souls tonight. There is sunshine in my soul today.
Sunshine. Blessed sunshine. Hallelujah. Oh, what a difference since Jesus passed by. Hallelujah. He built a new house for me on the same spot where the old one used to be. And he gave me blessed sunshine in my soul. Hallelujah. 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 Let's just bow our heads as we unite together in prayer now. Oh, great God, Jehovah, our King. Hallelujah. We lift our voice to you tonight, Lord. We lift our spirit to your spirit, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regardless of what's happening around us, oh Lord, we can sing, there is sunshine. There is sunshine. There is sunshine. There is sunshine. Hallelujah. In our soul today. Because of the difference. The change. The transformation. You have made in our lives. Oh God. We exalt you tonight. We lift you up tonight. Oh God. We glorify you tonight Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We come with expectation. Expectancy in this service tonight, Lord. Yes, Lord, we come with expectancy, oh Lord. We ask you to move through every bench in this place. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray that none of us tonight will be waiting for something to happen. But in our hearts and in our spirit, we will allow something to happen happen tonight oh lord hallelujah in a way where this entire service is just transformed into a mood of praise and worship and assurance hallelujah that there is blessed sunshine in our soul today hallelujah hallelujah yes lord do it again lord do it again lord do it again we know that there are different needs in this place tonight oh god hallelujah but the best need you could meet for us tonight god is to lift our spirit is to allow us god to walk through these doors feeling a sense of hope and assurance oh god that you are with us hallelujah 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 Oh God, reassure us tonight, Lord. Reassure us tonight, Lord. Reassure us tonight, Lord, as we seek to lift you up in this service. And everybody say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's turn to 2 Timothy chapter 2. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy chapter 2. We're going to read responsively. Sunlight, sunlight in my soul today. Sunlight, sunlight, all along the way Since the Savior found me, took away my sin I have had the sunlight of me Oh, sunlight, sunlight in my soul today Sunlight, sunlight, all along the way since the Savior found me, took away my sin, I am the Son of God. Oh, sunlight, sunlight in my soul today. All along narrow way. Sing it one last time, sunlight. How many have? 
the sunlight in your soul. Blessed sunlight, sunlight, all along the narrow way. Sees the thing took away. Thank God. We need to have the sunlight in our soul. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Oh, you're supposed to read the second verse. You didn't know that? We did say we'll read responsively. Where are we? Second Timothy chapter 2. Isn't that where we are? All right. You have too much sunlight in your soul. It seems. All right, let's try again. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier. Of Jesus Christ. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. Consider what I say. And the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of God is not bound. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, 
knowing that they do gender strifes. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. Together, recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him. Amen. The word of the Lord. You may be seated, Sister Kamika Porta is ministering in song. Praise God, everybody. If you know Jesus is a keeper, just lift your hands and say, Thank you, Jesus, for keeping me. Thank you, Jesus. I was baptized at the age of seven years old and I got the Holy Ghost about four months after that, still seven, and God has been keeping me. And in all those 20 something something years, I have seen the lightning flashing of her, the
He walks with me. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm going to ask our ushers to come.
Let's sing it one more time. So let the storm rage. Shelter, shelter. He walks with me. He walks with me. And all on earth in our peace. For I'm sheltered. We thank you for your presence. We are sheltered in the arms of God. Who could pay for that? What could we give to deserve that? Sheltered in the arms of God. <laughs> ah, Jesus, as we receive the offering tonight, Lord, we ask of you to help your people to give the best offering that they can so as to honor you. So as to bless your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. It's not like some of the big companies that have gone down. Investments of many have gone down with it. But nobody who invests in your kingdom will go down. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. In Jesus' name, the ushers are waiting on us. You may be seated. Give us unto the Lord.
choir ministers, uh, we want to let you know that on Tuesday, there is a meeting for all our business, professional, and tradespersons, all of our people who are in business, you are a professional, you're a tradesperson, we want to meet with you, amen, for a very special meeting in the sanctuary on 6. On Wednesday, there is prayer and Bible study. We're looking at a very important subject that I believe is very relevant today. I want to invite you to come. Praise the Lord. On Thursday at 6, there's the Apostolic Counselors Association training, the pastoral assistance meeting that was held, that was announced for the conference room, will not be held on Thursday. Pastoral assistance, if I could meet with you just for five minutes after the service, I'd be grateful. And uh, if you are at the upper level in high school or you're a college student uh, we need persons to volunteer their help with reading and homework at a children's home sister renee taylor would like to meet with you on the choir loft after the service tonight and brother and i just want to say that the lord has opened the door to sister renee uh, taylor just kind of given her an open door in one of our children's home. And uh, I believe we just need to maximize that. Amen? Amen? You know, I, I, we were talking as a family this evening, and I was saying, I've never been caught up about what's my purpose. I've never had that problem. Never really had that problem. Since I've been saved, I just do whatever whichever door is open, I just go in. I'm never, I, I, I just see myself occupying now if the Lord opens another door. I've never been, at, what is fighting? What is, we make the Christianity seem too hard. What's your purpose? Your purpose is to glorify God. Let's lift our hands and worship him. Let's glorify God wherever you are. That's your purpose. The choir is ministering. Oh 
There's never been another man with the power of this friend. By simply saying peace, be still, can calm the strongest wind. Coming down from the Father. Stand with us, please, everyone. Great atmosphere in the house because of the presence of the Lord. We're so grateful to God for His condescension that He would think about dwelling among us we who are so sinful and undone 
lift your hands in the presence of the Lord and express yourself to him wonderful Jesus wonderful Jesus wonderful Jesus wonderful Jesus nobody like you unto you be glory and honor dominion and power both now and forever thank you Lord thank you Lord while you remain standing it's my delight to introduce the one who has been selected by the Holy Ghost to bring the word tonight, Sister Deverly Scott. As she comes, let's just ask the Lord to help us to do his will. Just raise your hands and say, Lord, help me to do your will. I'm going to hear your word now. Help me to do your will. Let's bow our heads. Lord, we stand in your presence. This is not a moment to treat lightly. This is not a moment to take for granted. Some life is being changed for all of time. You are trying your very best to influence somebody. To come back to the pathway of life. Some weary person who is tired, you're trying to energize. Some person you're trying to give a fresh touch of desire some young person about to make a decision that will alter their life you're trying to hold up your hand and say no what a moment this is as your servant stands behind the sacred desk preach your word I pray that you will minister to her and through her to us your people we commit ourselves into your hands in Jesus name hallelujah we continue to worship the Lord tonight just extend both arms in the air hallelujah and just begin to worship this awesome God, this, this holy God, this righteous God, this God who is so awesome that he would choose to dwell among us tonight. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We honor you tonight, Lord. You are in charge. You are in control. We say take over, Lord. Great God, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. I'm getting a feedback from this monitor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, I want to talk to us on the topic, staying true to God no matter what. Turn to your neighbor and say, stay true to God no matter what. And even though tonight this message is geared 
towards the young people, but I believe it's for all of us. Amen. Don't worry, we'll be going into the scriptures. Praise God. In the meantime, turn with me in your Bibles to Daniel chapter 3. Amen. Praise God. Staying true to God. As soon as you find it, say amen. amen. Not going to read just yet. Just need you to find it. Amen. I remember some time ago, or from time to time, our pastor would ask persons who have been serving the Lord for a particular period of time that they were to come to the front. See, so he would probably ask those who were from the 50s or those who are from the 60s to come and line across the altar or whatever it is that he would ask us to do. And that would be a very special time for me because I would say to myself, if Sister Valda can do it, I can do it. I can make it. And sometimes the tears would roll down my cheeks. And I would say to myself, there is hope. I can go on. I can make it. So that very moment, it's not an ordinary moment. Amen for me. Praise God. Tell your neighbor, it's look up time. Don't get weary. It's look up time. Now, it's a very short message tonight, amen? So we don't want to miss it. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And sometimes we do have an agenda of our own. I remember when I came to Penta, praise God, not necessarily going to go through my conversion process, but I remember, praise God, I was extremely happy because the reason I was happy was not necessarily for a good motive or reason. But I was happy because I said, yes, finally, I'm in a big church. Nobody knows me. I know nobody. I can do whatever I please. I can come to church whenever I want to come to church. Nobody would miss me. Nobody. In fact, there were probably five persons who knew me at that time. Hallelujah. But when God has a plan for you, hallelujah, sometimes it interrupts our agenda. So I remember one particular Sunday morning in my casual, you know, demeanor, and I would walk on top of the balcony. Balcony, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. You're here and alive and well indeed. I'm not saying that you're hiding out in the balcony. I'm just sharing my experience. Amen. So I would sit on the balcony right under the last fan. But I remember, hallelujah, it was the missions team who was in charge of the service. And I remember that particular Sunday, they were talking about talents and getting involved in the work of God. And I became so uncomfortable. And I remember hearing Sister Lorna Sr.'s voice just ringing in my ears. And I began to twist a bit. Praise God. Hallelujah. And it was at that moment that I decided, no, I cannot continue in this fashion. I have to go. I have to get involved. Praise God. So I went as soon as the service was over. I didn't even delay. I think the service forms were located in the foyer somewhere over that building. I'm not sure if they're still there. But I remember I wrote up the form and I decided, yes, I'm going to join the choir and get involved. Praise God. So sometimes we have an agenda to hide. Praise God. And maybe tonight there's somebody 
praise God, who is just comfortable in the house of God. Maybe it is that you have retired from your activities. Maybe it is you were a Sunday school teacher, a praise and worship leader, whatever it is. But somehow, hallelujah, you just start feeling relaxed in the house of God. Hallelujah. But tonight, thank you, Jesus, I am saying stay true to God. Now is not the time, hallelujah, to walk out or get distracted because we are looking up for our redemption joy now. Praise God. This, is, this message is for me tonight. Staying true to God no matter what. Currently, there are so many things in our world to distract us. And let me just address this section here to the young people. There are times they want us to really fit in. Fit into their lifestyle of operation. Fit into their mode of dress. Fit in into their conversation. But it's all right to stand out for Jesus Christ. Don't fit in tonight. Praise God. And we go into the scripture. Daniel chapter 3. Even though we are living in this present world. Hallelujah. We are separated. Hallelujah. For the cause of Christ. Thank you Jesus. Holding on to our heritage. Daniel chapter 3 and verses 14. And I will tell, tell you when to stop. Praise God. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now if he be ready, that at what time he hear the sound of the cornet, Flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, dulcimer, and all kinds of music. Ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast. He shall be cast the same hour in the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Now sometimes too, Looking at the situation, they would want to intimidate us and scare us. They even go as far as to give us ultimatums. But let us see exactly what happens. Praise God. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able. Maybe I should read that again. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we are forgetting. Hallelujah. Even our very cause and purpose. Praise God. If it be so. Our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And if he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not, we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Somebody say to somebody tonight, we will not bow. Turn to somebody else and say, we will not bow. Turn to somebody else and say, we will not bow. Stay true to God. Stay true to God no matter what. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Right now and worship God for some strength. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we are seeking help from other sources, but we will not bow 
we will stay true to our apostolic heritage. Even though they were in the Babylonian system, they, they, they did not conform or adjust to their principles and their customs. Even though we are here, we don't have to adjust. We don't have to conform. Hallelujah. Let's remember our purpose. Hallelujah. And stay true to this great God, because we are looking up. I don't know about your sense of God. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know about you. It's almost 8 30. But I'm looking up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God shall wipe away all tears from my eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes, mighty God, the trials and the tribulations. will have us to believe that God is not true. Sometimes our situations would weigh us down, but God is faithful. You can make it, brothers and sisters. You can make it, brothers and sisters. You can make it, brothers and sisters. Choir members, you can make it. Definitely, you can make it. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God. Mighty God. Sometimes things around us seem to be crumbling. But in the rock, I'll hide. In the shadows, I'll abide. When the storms of life are raging over me, in the rock I'll hide. Things that come in together. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe things that come in together like how we want it to come together. Ah, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But God is able. God has been keeping you this far. And is able to keep you just a little while longer. Keep holding on. Keep holding on. Maybe it is that you're not really feeling anything, but still coming, to, still come in the house of God. Still, still come to worship Him. Thank you, Jesus. Still come to give Him praise because He is worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Young people going to school, you don't have to fit in. Don't think that you are strange. Don't think you are weird. In fact, don't fit in. Don't adjust. Don't fit in. Don't adjust. Our God is able to keep us. I remember one night before I close. In fact, it was a day. And I remember I felt so broken. But I remember the word that was spoken to me of the Lord. And I will never forget. And I kept those words. I will never leave you nor forsake you. So I hold those words very dear to me. So even when things are happening and I really don't understand. I place my trust in him. I place my trust in him. And sometimes when persons probably see you up here, sometimes they think it is because you want to be up here or because, well, or because. But when I look back and see all that God has done for me, so just for me to come and read the announcement, that's such a little thing to, to really offer to this God who has helped me so much. I feel so indebted to him 
Hallelujah. Just to offer a little word to encourage someone. Yes, it might be so hard wrenching at times and you're there fighting and pulling with yourself. But just to do that. Hallelujah. For the cause of Christ. Just to pick up. Hallelujah. Even at the convention. Hallelujah. After the altar workers, the tissue. Hallelujah. I find it an honor. Because I say, Lord, if you're able to fill these people, Lord God, with your Holy Spirit, then Lord, me no better than picking up the very trash. So I would walk around with the bag. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I, as I pick up each paper, I say, thank you, Jesus, for filling this one. Thank you, Jesus for filling this one so it's like an honor for me hallelujah saints of God let's look up it's not really a repetitive message tonight but let's look up let's not get complacent in this world I remember hallelujah this lady, I was on the ward just doing my duties. And this lady, she said she got a call from the hospital to come and look for her father. But when I saw her entering in and I saw what was happening, because I saw some doctors rushing towards her dad. And when I saw that, I said, oh boy. Hmm, this is not good. And I saw them drawing the screens. I said, Lord, this is certainly not good. And so I pulled her away a bit. And um, the long and short of it, her father passed. She was just a little bit late. Why have I shared that? Let's be cautious. Life is so short. The minute we begin to drop our guard, sometimes the enemy uses that to come in. And when that happens, it can cause us our very life. So I'm saying to us tonight, let's be cautious. Let's look up. Stay true to God. Whenever you see someone who has been in church for a long time, say thank you, Jesus. You might give them a word of encouragement. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord bless you, brothers and sisters. Stay true to God. Let's stand, everyone. I want to hear you welcome me. I want 
this altar all our young people between the ages 13 to 18 let's come to the altar I'd like those 19 to 25 to come. Here's the thing, folks. Verse 2 says, Though I gain this whole wide world and lose my soul when come the judgment, I would give it all for just one more day. Another day to kneel and pray and, and that's a blessed Lord's forgiveness Jesus help me live for you while I while I may while I may while I may I want to hear you welcome me I want to be among that number that day with lamps all trimmed and burning bright with robes so pure and spotless white. Jesus help me to Here's what I want us to do before we go. I'd like for those who have been saved for a longer period of time, maybe during the 80s or 70s or 60s or even 50s, I'd like for you to come. 
and I'd like you to take one of these young people, these children, these teenagers, and just pray for them and ask God to have mercy on them. Because when you're young, you think you'll live forever. You think you have a lot of time. You think that it's going to be like this all the time. And then suddenly you wake up and life has changed. Things are different. And older folks, we need the help of God too. So we're praying for ourselves as we pray for them. Come and lay hands on them. If you were saved in the 90s, come to. Just come to. We want to cover everybody. Don't stay at the back. Let's cover the, those at the front first. Even if you have to pray with two at a time. Oh God. Staying true no matter what. We need to be making the right decisions. We, we, need, we need to be making the right decisions. There's got to be a change. Our young people must not go like the rest of the world. They must be saved and they must be saved good too must be saved good too must be saved right must know what the touch of God feels like must know how to say no to sin must know how to stir up the Holy Ghost must know how to have church all by themselves our men must be men we want our young boys to be men, manly. We want our young girls to be ladylike, Holy Ghost filled, charged with the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Knowing how to pray, knowing how to pray through. Not just special occasions living for God, but consistently having victory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. If it's possible for you to stand, would you stand, please, so we... Don't run the risk of relaxing and falling asleep at this crucial moment. Doesn't make any sense for us to come here and go to hell. Oh God. Close your eyes and begin to pray now. With a great burden in your heart. Come on. Come on. Yes. Talk to Jesus. Reach for that place of brokenness. Even if there's hardness in your heart, reach for that place of brokenness. Reach for that place of brokenness. Yes. Break up the fallow ground. Yes. in the congregation would you join us in prayer 
If you want to come close, come. If you feel led to come close, come. Join us. Everybody must be saved. Come on, miracle working prayer, overcoming prayer, Holy Ghost prayer. Summon up a bird. Summon up a bird. Feel it in your belly. Feel it. Come on. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it.
troubled mind. It's the only voice I hear. And I'll follow one day his voice, his voice. When he speaks, he relieves my troubled mind. It's the only voice I hear. And I follow.
and he walks with me and he talks with me. Lift our hands and thank the Lord for his favor, for his mercy, for his goodness. He's a wonderful God. Oh, folks, you put your hands down so quickly. Is that the best you can do to thank God? For a Stand and lift your hands and thank God. Just make one last push. Sometimes you have to force yourself to do what's right. Let's lift our hands and really thank God. Spend some time. You couldn't pay for this. There's no money you could give to feel this presence of God. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. When we're praying for things, we cry and spend a long time. Let's thank God for what he's done. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. The Lord bless you, brethren. The Lord richly bless you. The Lord richly bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Greet each other very warmly. Oh God. <laughs>
pastoral assistance if I could just see you please Coming to see Sister Renee, please remember 